What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new edition of Paranormal Torch Graveyard Haunts and tonight this is the first time with the brand new cameras 4k if you're watching at home in 4k make sure you hit a like so I'm just waiting for Gary to turn up where we are today is at Beckles make sure again hit the subscribe leave a comment below and let's get going <laughs> So here we are guys, we are in the church. I'll flick it out of night vision in a minute. As you can see, it's huge. Oh, look at that nice blue from Gary's. <laughs> so, and uh, that's the only bit that's left of the church, isn't it? Of this one? Yes. Certainly. And the graves go all the way back over here. This one, this is a... Uh, this looks like the headstone's fallen in. Toppled over with time. Ground's taking it back, innit? Yeah. Yeah, look at the markings, look at this. Look, look, look. This is Charlotte Harvey, aged 71 years, died 1910. Oh, the wind's getting up a little bit. Very strong winds forecast for the early hours. Oh, we got long one. Robert and Charlotte Harvey. Yeah. I oh, know Eliza, beloved dog. See, some of these are just memorial stones as well. Uh, unless they're buried on top. I don't know, guys, let me know if they're um, buried on top or, you know, like over time. First one down, then over, then above. Is that right? Sometimes they bury on top. Yeah. these ones. So these are particular graves. Just uh, turn it up so you can see. Sarah Ann Dow, 67 years. I will be done. Rhoda Beckett. Sophia Dow. Common thing, 60 to 70 years. See, people live longer now, which is a good thing. Um, look at this. Amazing. An architect. There's nothing written on that one. If I go around this side. There must be something. Ah, here we go. Love in memory of Samuel Darby, who died March 30th, 1884. Jemima. Wow. That actual grave down there, that's actually that little stone there. I don't know if you can see it, it's actually separate. Uh, wealth. Certain people would have had a better, certainly have a better um, gravestone for wealth reasons. So, look. See here we've got metal, metal, or oh, steel iron, yeah, it'd be iron, wouldn't it? So, um, framework around these graves. I believe that used to be well reasons. They used to have a bit of a state status. Do tell me if I'm wrong. But yeah. Oh man, there's even graves down here. 
hard to see them, but they're sort of toppled over. So, more of these sort of triangular tomb shaped graves. There's a cross on its side there. Arthur George Mill, 1878. So, over. Yeah, very nice. Try not to step on the little snowdrops that are coming out. <sighs> oh wow, look at this one. This one over here looks very gothic. -y. Have to go around the other side. So we have. I can't see that. O R C E B is it? Mary Ann John play for ah. But this one's actually shifted. The, the tops sort of broke and shifted as this tree here has obviously come down. There's probably been other trees over this time come down. John Barber, Mary Ann. See, back then, have you seen how many names by the name of Mary? Very famous name back in the 1800s. Very famous. This is sacred on that one. Joseph. Can't see that one. Oh, well, look, this one's got a popper. <clears throat> popper um, look to it. Coffee-y little look. The proper coffin shape. You probably can't see it there, but. Uh, they go back even further over there. Graves, there's that, it's sealed off this bit of metal. Um, so, this is obviously a family of wealth here. So, because it's got its own barrier going around. Let's see if we can see it. Watch the moles. Can't work out the name. Might look it up. Reverend, see? So this was a reverend. A reverend. It's always hard to pronounce. Well, that's under a stone. So. Yeah, this is obviously. I like the crosses on top as well. Let's put them there. Um, you see the way a lot of graveyards have this particular sort of cross. Arthur Leon, 1902. Henry Norman Leon. So we've got a family here, 1894. So obviously they're related. It could be something to do with the manor house actually as well. There's a manor house in the background there, see. That manor house used to belong to someone quite wealthy in the area. Unfortunately they passed away in a helicopter crash years ago. Which is just in the field not far from here. 
so guys yeah that's um just a little walk around here i think what i might do in a minute is just have a little bit of a reset maybe get the tripod out and maybe we should do a little bit of evp and see what what we get what do you think so let's yeah let's do it so and uh right guys so what so, right so what this is this is an old device i used to have when i first started doing paranormal investigations and it's called a mustek now as you know, some the, is it the DR60 or DR yeah. something, uh, are very famous in the paranormal world, especially on all of the um, ghost programs. They're so expensive, and they reckon it's something to do with the, uh, the shielding inside. That's why they were they were sent back when they first came out. Um, but this, I found this little device, they've got the same problem. Okay. Uh, where where when I used to do filming when I first started, it used to pick up. All sorts. In fact, here's here's a clip now. I'm picking up stuff. No, I mean, I'm picking it up. Picking up. Not just. Oh, just it. No, I can see it. Hear my voice. Come forward and speak into this device. Touch either myself or Jamie. Jamie's footsteps. My footsteps. Yeah, just moving a little bit. Right. Is that John explain what yeah. you're doing? Okay, guys. So what we're doing now? Okay, everyone. So we're going to use one of the apps now. I'm still a bit skeptical on these apps. It's the Necrophonic app. Um, the link will be in the description below, but if you want to get into paranormal investigation, maybe that's an area to start. I'll leave it open to you, what you decide, um, but again, I'm I'm still open-minded, yes. sceptical about it. Essentially a cheap spirit box. Yeah, a cheap spirit box. I'm more of an analogue guy, you know, I prefer the old-fashioned radios, and, <laughs> and, uh, and of course, now, Polaroids. Yeah. So, yeah. We've got to try and... Mix test it. these things out oh, to yeah, try and debug yeah, them definitely. or either prove that they work or they don't work. Definitely, so. yeah. Right, okay. here, here we go. So we're, so we're back again. Calling out anyone here with us right now. I'm, I'll take it that was a geese or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Jamie and this is Gary. Hi. What's it say? I'm sure, that was a sentence. There's a knock then. Did you hear that? There's a fud outside. Yeah. Are you around us right now? Is there anybody around us right now? Hi. Are you German? No. <laughs> Can you tell us how old you are? Nine? Yeah, because I got a German airman here. Is that, is that your phone doing that? Is your phone on its... Um... Let me shake my other phone out. Hang on. Right. Yeah, that's going off and I am... Right. This phone is now yeah, on airplane mode. Yeah, so it must have been that. Yeah. That's why it's low.
few did we have? We had. That's Robert's grave, isn't it? So, Robert, this is your grave. Hope you don't mind, I've selected you to come over and see if you're with us. Had a flash then. Go first. first You're almost where I was. Oh, look, look, it's going off. Okay. Is your phone on airplane mode? Yep. Can you see that? So, Maria, my name's Jamie and this is Gary. How old are you, Maria? Are you, are you still here, Maria? Oh, yeah, yeah, over here. Maria! Are you buried here, Maria? What happened to you? Over here. See that? It's flashing. Yep, down here it's not, but up here, I think she's here. Are you with me here, Maria? Touch my hand. It's my hand. Was that that making a noise then? Nope, it's still still. I thought I heard a noise over there. But did you see that, the way that, look, I'm, I'm putting it in front of the camera now yeah. to show that it's not the camera. My phone's off, their radios are off, your phone's not doing it, but that something has been causing and that. The people at home, you can see, look, you see the airplane in the top left-hand corner. Hopefully they can see that. So we've, I had, when I was walking through there just now, it's under that, under that branch just behind you. Yeah. It started, it did a little bit of a bleep, I thought, of just sort of ever so slightly. And I was like, oh, something was there then. And I kept moving and it started flashing. And when you walked in the same spot, Maria came through. Interesting, as I've said, what, tell me your name as well. Yeah. You said Maria. Maria, I just met a girl called Maria. Maria, can you still see us? I'd love to talk to you, but you need to give us a message to let us know you're here. There's plenty of energy in our equipment in our hands for you to use to try and build up. Do you know what? I reckon she's young. Just getting... that child? That yeah, that's what I'm just getting a sense of like a, 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 like six or something, six to nine year old, maybe seven. She might be a bit afraid of us, two blokes. True. Maria, don't be, don't be frightened of us. How old are you? Shock. They're not doing it, is it? I know if you tap them, they do it, but that's because it's the little um, sensor inside, but that, I won't tap them that, was I? Maria, are you here? Is there anyone here, a little girl here? It's 
strange. She's yeah. gone. She's gone. I'm going to leave that running, uh, just in case. It's back. Uh, this is this way, isn't it? <laughs> Quite handy, it's got a nice wide angle lens on this. Hang on, wait, while we're here, yeah. go back. Because um, I know what they're going to ask, the, the viewers at home, I'm doing this for you. Is there any graves in that area with a name Marie on? Yeah. Right. But the thing is, there weren't no graves in this little bit here, was it? Was it out around here? Or? No, there's no graves here, was there? No. No, there ain't actually, is there? So why would it be that? We came through there. Did we step this way, was it? No, we came that way. Yeah. Oh, there, there's some graves up here on the left, aren't there? Yeah. There is. Oh! There is. Oh my god, that is good. There is. Is your grave that way? Is that where your tombstone's located? Would you like us to go over there? <laughs> yeah, see, we have to go the other side, won't we? Oh, excuse me. Oh, we can't even see them. They're that overgrown. Is your grave one of the ones that are sunken into the ground? I've got six minutes left on this battery. I'll have to change it if we're gonna. It's very hard to see these graves, isn't it? No, I think she's gone. Okay, we're going to head off now, Maria. Yep. Brundle. Wow. Brundle. Isn't that a location here, isn't it? Yeah. Surname there is Brundle. Maybe one of the founders. What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching this first new edition of Paranormal Torch Graveyard Haunts. If you like what you see, leave a comment below and hit the like button and uh, we'll be back soon with another wandering of a graveyard. Take care.